Okay, Alexia. And anybody else who may need help with the exit ticket. Let's take a look at the directions, okay? It says use a ruler. You don't have to use a ruler in the grid below to construct the axis for the coordinate plane. The x-axis should intersect. Intersect means cross each other, okay? Should intersect points L and M. Construct the x y axis so that it, it contains points K and L. So let's draw x axis. You know, x always goes first. And it wants us to construct it so that it runs through and intersects L and M. So that means right through points L and M. Okay? And then we're going to label this x axis. All right, now we need to construct y axis so that it runs through or intersects points K and L. And we'll label that the Y axis. Okay. Now that's it for that particular part. Let's go to A. It says place a hash mark on each grid line on the X axis and Y axis. I think that they kind of mean, uh oh, what happened to my pen? They kind of mean they want us to place a tick mark. Okay. One here, one here. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And the same thing for the y-axis. So you go ahead and do yours. Okay. Now, the next direction says label each hash mark so that A is located at 1 and 1. So this particular coordinate pair is 1 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. Okay. So they're giving us clues here to help us find the value of each one of those tick marks. I don't know why they call them hash marks, but they're usually called tick marks. So we know that the value of A is 1 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. So we know also that here is our origin, which means 0. All we have to do is count how many spaces or how many hash marks or tick marks are between 0 and 1. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we know each one of those Hash marks or tick marks has a value of what? And I hope you say a fraction, right? Which fraction? So if there are four tick marks, the value is one fourth, okay? So that means the first one would be one fourth. This is two fourths. Ouch, this is three fourths. And we know that four fourths equals one, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and label all of them. Four fourths, five fourths six fourths and seven fourths or you can go ahead and convert that to your uh, mixed number the same thing on the y-axis and I'll change colors the first one is one fourth two fourths three fourths four fourths equals one five fourths and then this one is six fourths okay so let's move on to the next question here it says plot the points Okay, uh, point B is one fourth zero. So one fourth on the x axis and then zero on the y axis. So I'm going to go to one fourth on the x axis, which is here. And you know, zero on the y axis, we don't move. Stay right there on the axis line, okay? So here, Ms. Drum will plot. I'll use red. One fourth and zero belongs here. And they want us to label it B. I want you to go ahead and plot C. And then also, I want you to give me the coordinates for A, the coordinates for K, L, and M. I have no idea why they didn't put that on here. Or maybe they did, and we didn't find it. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I hope that helps out, Alexia. All right, sweet pie. I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video.